So, I had breakfast in Tajikistan, lunch in Uzbekistan, and looks like I'm gonna have dinner in Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> One day, 300, oops, three countries. So, yeah, I was about to call it a day. Few men approach, we start talking, and they say, okay, we're gonna stop you a truck or whatever. So they, they stopped that massive truck. He was from actually the driver is from Osh. So he bring directly to the border, 170 kilometers. Amazing, just amazing. So yeah, Kyrgyzstan, country number 73 uh, on my list. And uh, yeah gonna stay in Osh. This is already uh, kinda Osh because it's second biggest city in uh, Kyrgyzstan. I have a couch surfing horse, gonna stay a few days. Not sure, need to plan my route. So hopefully it's not gonna be so hot like it was the day before. But yeah, I think 90% of Kyrgyzstan is hills, mountains. So it's gonna be a lot of up and down, but it's good. It's gonna be at least fresh air. So yeah. Finally done with the highway. <sighs> really annoying with all the trucks and cars. Uh, yeah, in a few kilometers gonna go <coughs> on the gravel. Dead already 135 kilometers. Uh, maybe it's only 4 4:30 p.m. Would be nice to do. Yeah, maybe another 30 at least, but now it's gonna go steep climb tomorrow. I'll have 3000 meter pass. A few days ago, they just opened clear from the snow. So yeah, it will be fun. Gravel is always uh, more fun. Uh, I think this is the last place where I can get food on uh, in, in uh, 100 kilometers, so yeah. So find this cool uh, spot for the night. I was thinking I'm gonna put here a tent because it's gonna probably be some rain. But then I saw this roof it's all bended so yeah, i was thinking maybe nope because <laughs> if it's gonna be a strong storm probably this whole damn old thing would collapse uh. <coughs> yeah so tomorrow 50 kilometers up, 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 up to 3,000. Oh. electric wires probably you don't see but the road goes like this up 
up to this point then there in the distance I see the row and then It's gonna be some pushing for sure. <sighs> yeah, so yesterday, as I expected, was a uh, really heavy rain. So my tent is soaking wet but uh, yeah I mean it, it kept the rain out so at least at least this one is good <coughs> yeah, so drying things out gonna eat uh, sproti it's like sardines but something similar with bread prepare for big climb some energy <laughs> But it's really you can feel the difference between the Pamir mountains and these mountains there like was so aggressive and rugged. Oh falcon. Or hook. No falcon problem. Hunting. Yeah, they were so aggressive, so rugged, so sharp and always rocks colliding from the top to the bottom and here is so so like gentle and lush and green and uh, yeah yeah it's amazing so many horses here and uh, yeah people with horses <sighs> yeah Well, so I got false information. The pass is not clear. As you can see, full of snow. This bulldozer is kaput. I don't know all the cars waiting, but they say yeah, it's probably gonna take a week or so. But I see there is uh, already open, so... Yeah, I think for a bicycle it shouldn't be the problem, but with car or motorbike... Yeah, forget it. Ah, oh, yeah, here is another one. Yeah, so it's short. What is that? Like 100 meters, more or less. Moo! <laughs> what the hell this cow's doing here? So, beep, 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 beep. you can zzz, oh, there, 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 where the, the river. <laughs> yeah, same go, same way down, like up. I like it. But I mean, with this road, yeah, you're always, always on the brake. 99% like 90% on break and you always you cannot enjoy this just amazing view look at this and you cannot even enjoy you need to look every rock because if you hit wrong rock you go down there probably or yeah something you broke something this cow is completely enjoying the view look <laughs> She's like na 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 bam So today all day is gonna be on this beautiful nice highway Even though I hate highways but I get recommendations <coughs> <coughs> from two people that is really really beautiful and uh, basically no cars because I was planning to take an uh, old Soviet road 
the two high passes this is gonna be more or less flat so even better I'm not feeling good actually the cough is really getting bad it's still the same coughs the same lung problem from uh, Indonesia I was thinking in Pamir I was coughing but it was a little bit stop in Uzbekistan then uh, I was thinking it's maybe from the altitude or dust because I was eating a lot of dust but yeah now I see that it's something probably in my lungs so This road is absolutely beautiful. Such a such a different uh, difference where I was yesterday and here. Uh, yeah, cycling in this go along this gorge and river, up and down, and uh, all different colors. It's just and the weirdest thing is a. Well, I don't know how old, but this you can see that it's brand new, this highway, and it's almost completely empty. I'm here now uh, four hours cycling, less than 10 cars pass, so not sure why. Since day one, Kyrgyzstan is like on a clock. All day beautiful, 4, 5 p.m. The cloud is dark, thunder, lightning, rain, bam. <coughs> All right, finally left highway after 160 something kilometers uh, heading towards pass I think uh, yeah it's above 3000 meters I don't remember how high but uh, it's gonna be pretty steep actually I think uh, seven around seven kilometers is gonna be hike the bike only pushing so it should be somewhere there buckwheat with sproti oh man i remember i used to hate this buckwheat i mean all my childhood i was eating well almost daily buckwheat with like milk gravy and all and all that stuff because uh, my mother used to i mean she works in the hospital and she always bring this food uh, yeah from hospital because in hospital is pretty common because uh yeah it used to be days that we couldn't afford just uh, buy food because my mother yeah she raised four children so it was not uh not uh, easy job for her so uh, we used to get some food from a uh, municipality and yeah every day every single day for many many years she was bringing food from hospital luckily she could so yeah i'm buckwheat so all my childhood i was eating buckwheat and buckwheat i mean uh, it used to be a lot so i remember when i left home Oh, I couldn't even uh, eat maybe at least for five years. <laughs> but yeah, apparently it's a super food. I didn't knew that. So yeah, good for me. <laughs> yeah, amazing spot for tonight.